If you are experiencing a leaky crawler or just want to check your seams, this video will show you how to step by step. If you have a Platinum Pro direct drive, you will need a half inch wrench and a seam gauge. If you have a Gold Standard 8000D, you will need a half inch wrench, a seam gauge, and a standard flathead screwdriver. If you are using a micrometer to measure your seams, the acceptable seam specs are down below in the video description. Start by loading a crawler and a lid into the seamer. You should feel resistance at the 90 degree mark. Next we will apply upward pressure to seaming arm and roller. The bottom edge of the top roller profile should just clear the top edge of the chuck profile with zero resistance. This should not require adjustment unless parts are very worn or replaced. We will also check the second seaming arm and roller for clearance. Once the clearance is checked, remove the seaming arm pin from the second seaming arm. Now let's grab our seam gauge. Load a can and a lid into the seamer and cycle it. This cycle will only allow the first seam to run. We will then remove our can. By using the wider slot indicated first on the seam gauge, we will check in four spots around the circumference of the lid. The gauge should fit snug in at least one location and clear in other locations. If the gauge does not fit properly, follow the next steps to adjust your seam. On the direct drive seamer, start by loosening the half inch lock nut, then loosen the black locking knob, which will allow you to use the red adjustment knob to increase or decrease the seam width. Once your adjustment is made, re-tighten the black locking knob as well as the lock nut. On the 8000D seamer, start by placing a standard screwdriver in the screw slot. Then loosen the half inch locking nut while keeping the screw in position. Turn adjustment screw to either increase or decrease seam measurement. Once the adjustment is made, hold the screw in place with the screwdriver and retighten the lock nut. Load a can and a lid into the seamer and cycle it. This cycle will only allow the first seam to run. We will now check our first seam measurements again. Repeat first seam adjustment steps if necessary. Now let's move on to checking that our second seam operation is in spec. To do this, follow the same steps you did for the first seam operation, except for this time we will remove the first seaming arm pins so that only the second seaming roller touches the can. You will want to use a can that has already been through the first seaming operation and is in spec. Use the more narrow slot on your seam gauge marked second to check in four spots around the circumference of the lid. This should fit snugly in one spot and clear the rest. Once your second seam is in spec, go ahead and replace the first seaming arm pins and then cycle the machine once more with a new can. Your seam should now be in spec.